We're celebrating today the at the Crystal Castle here the consecration of this first stage of the World Peace Stupa, the Kalachakra Stupa, and the Guto monks are here with uh, thousands of tzatzas, plaster buddhas that have been made by children and other people here over the past year, and thousands of sacred objects and precious objects and food and prayers that have come from around the world to be placed and sealed into the stupa for at least a thousand years. The, the Kala Chakra Stupa is a stupa, um, this, this is only the seventh one in the world. And the only one in the southern hemisphere. And it's a stupa that is specifically for bringing balance to the earth and to, the, to people. And it's for times of war and chaos and environmental damage. And it feels very important right now. And this was when we went and had an audience with His Holiness in Dharamsala and ask for blessings for this project. This is the stupa that they requested that we built. So that's our mission. <laughs> Some 1300 years ago, Tibetan people and Tibet as a nation were very powerful, nothing spiritual as it is known today. They were superpower in the Himalayan areas. Suddenly we changed. That's not the way to run a society. We disarmed ourselves by adopting a religion that was taught by 2,700 years ago in India by Buddha Shakyamuni. Within that tradition, there are something like 60, 70,000 monks and nuns, thousands of monks, monastery nunneries. But the five main monasteries, three are academic oriented teaching, learning, which has got about 30, 40,000 members of monks and nuns. And the two colleges specialize in esoteric, which set the benchmark for the ceremonies, arts, and ritual tantric practices. And one of them is the Guto Monasteries, which has only about 500 members, very exclusive. And so they, to a large degree, set the standard for the ceremonies, uh, rituals, art, chanting, and particularly they're well known for, for their harmonic overtone chanting. <laughs> this is a gun belonging to a Vietnam War era, a symbol of disarmament. Guns and all the weaponries uh, will be put inside the stupa at the base of it, a symbol of disarmament. It's covered over with the tarp. That's the throne where everything's going to get placed tomorrow morning. So right now I think we're stringing up the stupa with uh, thread to where the ceremonies are happening yeah, in the Buddha. Buddha. which is the bottom section of the stupa. Um, it gets filled with all the things from the community because one of the main sources of power from the with the stupa is the coming together of community.
I made a paper crane and inside it I put some personal messages and some mantras and things uh, that I believe in and um, some affirmations. So I just put a sort of an eclectic collection of things that are meaningful to me inside it. I got my family to take a little piece of their hair. So it's, it's all little bits of all my family. I bought a, a little a little piece of uh, paper with our photos on them and our address so that we, we were here and we sent our blessings for the future from this time and our, our business cards. <laughs> a letter and a ring and just my wishes and what I want and what's going to keep me happy and then a little bit of me. Oh, it's um, the etches from the ever-burning fire of the temple where yeah, there were the fires since hundreds of years. I put some hair of my babies Plus I had um, the section of umbilical cord connected to my young oldest son. Um, I put a bronze statue of Ganesh, so any obstacles to uh, break down to achieve world peace and harmony between all. I'm donating this or um, offering this to the stupa for my countries from my heritage, Germany and Latvia. The secret objects, that's the secret. <laughs> I put in secret objects, they're very sacred to me. So the arrowhead represents disarmament and world peace, and the rose quartz represents heart and love. Doing this kind of work is supposed to bring a lot of good energy, energy that will help transform our mind and bring closer to enlightenment, not only for oneself, but the good of others. And whatever you put into, put into with good voluntary giving with no expectations in return whatsoever. We like working with the community. We like you helping us, we like helping you, and I think the Guta monks have brought happiness and peace to a lot of people <coughs> in very different ways. So hopefully we can continue to do that, and with a bit of luck you'll continue to support um, our work and the, the lives of the Guta monks. It's uh, not often you get an opportunity to participate in something like this, so it's, it's a, a real privilege. You know, things are happening in the world at the moment, and this is a really great time to just get everyone together and kind of make a base and you know, putting that out into the universe. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah